Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today we're going to be going over the waffle stitch, which we already did knit flat, but this time I'm going to do it in the round. And it is uh, quite a bit different than knitting it flat. Um, as you can see, it does have a little bit of a transition here that you can see whenever we go from one row to the next. Um, I am using size 11 knitting needles with a 16 inch cable. I'm using super bulky yarn. It's Lion brand, Woolies thick and quick. And you want to cast on a multiples of two. And for this size of needle, uh, with cable, I use 30 stitches. Um, and it's actually a pretty easy stitch once you get the hang of it. So row one, it's only two stitches. Row one, you're going to knit the first stitch and then you're going, oh, before I get started, I do want to make sure. This last stitch here, I draw it kind of tight so that the transition isn't as noticeable because if it's loose, it is very noticeable. All right, so we're gonna knit that first stitch and then we're gonna knit one below. And you're gonna follow, do those two stitches all the way around. So whenever I'm looking at the pattern, for me it's easier to look at the stitches and see where I am than to remember what row I'm on. So here I have a double stitch. That means I'm just gonna knit that stitch. And here I just have one purl stitch. It means I'm going to knit one below. So I'm going down into the center of that. Let's see if I can get a little better angle. So you go down into the center, wrap it around and pull through. Knit one, knit one below. Knit one, knit one below. And we're just gonna do that all the way around. All right, so you wanna be sure to pull that last stitch a little tight, slip the marker, and now we are ready to purl. So we're gonna purl the first stitch. And now we have this extra stitch and sometimes it's hard to see. So right there, you can see every other stitch. It kinda of has a little loop there. You wanna pick up that extra loop and then we're gonna purl those two together. Purl one, purl two together. So we're gonna pick up that extra loop. And I kind of stretch it out a little bit as I'm doing it to make sure that I get that loop out of it. Cause that gives it a lot of extra squish. So pick up the extra loop and purl two together. Purl one, pick up the extra loop and purl two together, and you'll do that all the way around. And that is that it is the two stitches. You just alternate on the next two rows. So it's a four row repeat. And it is super uh, squishy. This is an extra, extra soft uh, stitch. You can see there. I mean, it just has so much bulk to it. So I want to show you, that's what it looks like knit in the round. And then I have my flat piece here that I did 
in my previous video, my original 100 Days of Knit Stitches. Actually, that's probably, oh, that's right. So that's what they look like. A little bit different. I think it might even be a little squishier knitting it in the round than knitting it flat. Maybe I knit a little tighter because these are all knit stitches. And this is knit and purling stitches. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new tutorial and I hope to see you guys again next time. And thank you so much for watching.